a caravan of news crews arrive at dusk to watch one of the final tests of the $18 million lighting system for the new Bay Bridge. Three workers with Musco lighting climb the suspension cable to make last minute adjustments. The bridge is meant to glow at night. When we started the lighting design, um, we went out and hired one of the top lighting designers in the country, Howard Branston. That was back in probably the year 2000. So we had a concept for the design early on, which is the same design you see here today, meaning it's a progression and connection to the tower. Clive Endress is the senior landscape architect. That job covers everything from palm trees to LEDs. We always wanted a white light meaning a white light. It's a white bridge. It relates to the cranes in Oakland. We wanted to carry that through into the lighting. Early on, Blyco, the East Bay subcontractor on the lighting, recommended the people who light the White House, NASCAR, and sports stadiums around the world with energy-saving LED lighting, Musco Lighting of Iowa. So it's Musco Lighting out in Iowa, right? And the best thing that ever happened to us on this bridge. I, they're just so competent. These were all custom designed for the Bay Bridge. Uh, with this, we actually have 26 aiming points in each fixture. Musco worked so hard with all our engineers, me the architect, to attain what we've got here today. They've been over backwards, they were excited about the project, and they don't do this type of lighting typically. They do sports lighting, but they were excited about something. I mean, look at tonight. Look at the beautiful place we live in. Um, you know, we're constructing a landmark bridge across the San Francisco Bay, and I think they want to be part of it. The bridge looks like it's fully illuminated. It's not. More lighting will be added after the Labor Day weekend opening. What you can't see as well as you will is the main tower. So the tower is not lit up. The only lighting you're seeing on the tower right now is the roadway lighting. Floodlights on the tower will be added after the opening. There will also be additional lighting at the base of the suspender cables pointing up, turning the iconic Bay Bridge Tower into a cathedral of light at night. This is what it will look like to drive on the span. That's a major success story in itself. Since the east and westbound spans are right next to each other, there was concern about possible glare from the opposing span. Musco engineers solved that problem by pointing not just the fixtures, but each and every individual light, there are 48,000, to predetermined pinpoints to light the road ahead of you and not to spill over. The media is about to see a test to demonstrate that Clara won't be a problem. The lights on the eastbound span will be left on, and these lights will be turned off. If you guys are ready, I'm gonna make the call, huh? So one of the things you notice is that right now, even though the lights on the other side are, are on, there is absolutely no spill over to this side. This side is total darkness. Traditional bridge lights need to be replaced every two years. These LED lights are expected to last 15 to 20 years and reduce electrical consumption by 50%. So on opening night, the bridge will look like this, but expect it to get even better as the tower and suspender cable lights come on board by October. On the New Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.